Hello and welcome to this Alien Pro tutorial. My name is Brandon and today I'll be showing you how to properly install and set up the main Alien Pro tool as well as additional rule plugins. We can start here at the All Deck Downloads page and from here we can select the most current build of Alien Pro. If you happen to be looking for a specific build then you will find that link within the archive section here. But for now we'll just go ahead and install the most up to date version. And the first step here is to select your proper environment. Alien Pro is supported in both Windows and Linux and available in 32 and 64 bit architectures. So I'll go ahead and select the most appropriate option here for me. And from here we can see all the available download options. At the top is the main installation which we'll need to install the main tool. We also have additional links here to the uh, release notes for the current build of Alien Pro as well as to all the available rule plugins for that tool. I've actually already downloaded everything already so uh, let's go ahead and start the actual install. Running the Alien Pro executable will initiate the setup wizard, which I have started here. The setup process is quite easy and starts with this license agreement. After reading through it carefully, you can accept and continue. Next, we must specify an installation directory. By default, this will be the Aldec directory, which is what we'll use. Uh, we can also see we're presented this option here of adding our Alien Pro main installation directory and bin subdirectory to our path variable. This option will allow calls to Alien Pro's batch mode commands, such as Alien Batch or Alien Con, without having to first set the current directory of your shell application uh, to the location of those commands. Overall, this is a very convenient option, which we'll go ahead and select and continue with the wizard. Next, we have a few options for what type of install that we want. We can choose between a minimal, standard, full, or custom install. Minimal will simply install the base application without any additional uh, optional components. Full will install any and all available options for the tool. And finally, Standard finds a balance between the tool, only installing the main tool plus some regularly used options. For this tutorial, however, we're going to go through the custom install, which will allow us to pick and choose uh, what options that we'd like to install. From this page, we can see all of our available install options, such as help files, sample projects, vendor libraries, and more. Simply selecting the checkbox next to any option will enable it for install. And if you want to know more about a particular option, selecting it will provide a, de uh, a brief description of certain components. So here we can see which vendor libraries we'd like to install with the tool. And we can also see that a few are already selected by default. Depending on application, you are free to select and deselect any vendor that you wish to include. Uh, we can see that Xilinx actually has two options here, those being ISC and Vivado. By default, Vivado is selected, but of course we can select ISC by itself or even leave both selected. However, Vivado will have priority over ISC unless the option is explicitly selected. Uh, but for now, we'll just go ahead and stick to the default options. Next, we can see options to install additional rule plugins. Any plugins in the same directory of our setup application will be presented here. And don't worry if you forgot to download or include a particular rule within this directory, as all plugins can be installed even after installation of the main tool, which I'll show in just a bit. But moving on first, we can see our final option here is registering file extensions, which will simply associate these different file types to Alien Pro. Once configured, that'll actually be it for the installation settings. It's important to note that any of these options can be installed later simply by rerunning the setup application even after installation of the main tool. From here though, we'll go ahead and start the actual installation. So with the install completed and the main tool open, we can actually verify which rule plugins we have installed by going to help rule plugins. Right now, I have everything installed except for the Aldex CDC rule set, which I'll go ahead and install now. Just like the main setup, we can run this application to initiate the setup wizard for this plugin. Once again, we must agree to a license agreement and then simply select the location of install, which will be the same as our main tool. From here, we can start the actual installation. Once finished, we can now verify that it has been installed. Once you've installed all your necessary plugins, they can be enabled within the policy editor accessible by going to the Global Preferences via Tools, Preferences. Only those license rules will be available to use. We can actually filter and see which rules are currently licensed using these two options here. 
by either showing or hiding licensed or unlicensed rules. And finally, for more information on licensing, you can always launch the License Diagnostic tool from the main installation directory or simply from the Help menu here. This window will show all licensed components, as well as how many are available and how many licenses are currently in use. We can even see when a license is about to expire, and even the location which Alien Pro is looking for our license. Overall, this tool will provide great diagnostic information should you run into any uh, licensing issues when setting up the tool. And with that, that'll actually conclude this tutorial on installation and setup. I hope this video was informative, and of course, thanks for watching.